What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Fox Tech video. This time we talk about Safari that on your iPad simply cannot open a page and what you can do about it. Because there are some possible ways or possible things which could prevent you from accessing a website and some things which you can do about it. First of all, when you open up a page like this, you can see there was an error, whatever happens, but mostly a lot of times, I mean, it doesn't happen always, but when you go to a page like bing.com, and everything's working fine, you just get there. But a lot of times, it doesn't even have to be your fault, but let's say that you have a, have a typo in the link that you click on, or you genuinely type in a wrong link. So let's say you go to bing.com is the proper website, but instead you go to bing.clm for whatever reason, and you just go, in, go ahead and open it up. It doesn't work that way you just go to a page which does not even exist which is basically a problem in this case safari cannot open the page because the server cannot be found and it's not the fault of bing it's not the fault of your internet connection it simply means that the link is not correct so just make sure that the link works properly you know the extension is simply wrong in this case so after correcting it i can get to this very specific website Another possible thing or issue could be incorrect time set on your iPad because there are some websites which you can visit as long as you have a valid certificate and uh, this applies to you having the correct time and a date set on your iPad because if you for whatever reason messed with that in the past you can also find it in the settings general section, a date and time. And if you don't have it set automatically like I do, and let's say that you click on the time and set it manually to whichever time you want, which you can see it works. It even changes my focus modes based on that, but it's not 6, 17 AM. It's just not the reality. And when I set my time like this and open up a website, Sometimes it may happen that it just doesn't let me do that because it just sees that I lived in the past and it just doesn't make any sense. So yeah, that's um, why I would recommend you to set it automatically like this and you can easily just make sure that uh, you always have the correct date and time. It doesn't matter if you have the 24 hour time. It's not that important that the AM PM doesn't matter, but you just have to make sure that you have the current correct time zone and the time set. So that's definitely an option as well. Also, if you are experiencing some problems with your Safari, what you can do is to find the Safari section inside your iPad settings, scroll down a bit more and tap on clear history and website data. Clearing all this will remove history cookies and other browsing data. So this is good. So that's just a good way to go about it because after you perform this reset, you can try to open up the website again to see if anything changes. Perhaps there was something going on with it, but yeah, you, you just don't know after uh, unless you like reset it. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. Another possible thing would be to make sure that the website actually does work because, for example, if I open up the bing.com and the ending, the website is actually correct, the URL is actually right, but still I cannot get inside. I can always just Google things like is bing down and when I look it up, I can find uh, some people which are perhaps also reporting so you can see that Bing is frequently, I mean, it's just running correctly as of right now. You can see that Bing is up and running now in the past 24 hours. There were, there were zero outages. So when you find out about this, you know exactly that the problem is not on their side. But in case you, you have seen here that Bing is not up and running and there were many outages reported by users, then you just know that, yeah, we have to wait for Bing to actually fix their website. And of course, at the end of the day, what you can do about it is to open up the App Store, look up some different web browser, let's say it's going to be Google Chrome or uh, Microsoft Edge, whatever it is, but try to access the very same website through a different web browser. This may definitely help in many instances. So definitely try it out and see if anything changes after accessing it through a different website.
Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Hope the video has helped you out. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a thumbs up if you found it useful. Subscribe down below so you don't miss future videos which are going to help you with your future problems. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace out until the next video.